Hey YouTube, it's Michael Lambert here. I'm back once again with another reaction video. Once again, I'm reacting to Peep This Out in this video, Little Caesars Old World Fanceroni Pepperoni Pizza Review. Peep This Out. He uploaded this one about eight days ago, and I'm going to react to it right now. And if any notifications pop up during the video, I apologize, and I will take care of them. Now let's get to this video. What's going on, everyone, and welcome to the channel. It's Ian K, where today I'm headed into Little Caesars, because it looks like their pepperoni is turning into fanceroni for their latest promo. I see you, Little Caesars. You're all fancy now, huh? So stay tuned, because the old world fanceroni pepperoni pizza is up next. Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with Ian K. Stay frosty. Pizza, pizza. Man, oh man, this is definitely pepperoni overload, guys. Take a closer look at what I'm checking out here. Here we go with the old world fanceroni pepperoni. Pepperoni. And as you can see, there is no shortage of the star of the attraction for this one, guys. Definitely a nicely topped. Sorry, I had an itch right there. Sorry about that, everybody. A pizza for sure. All right, so basically what you've got here is a large pepperoni pizza topped with over 100 crispy old world pepperonis. Essentially, the cup pepperonis that have the oil that pools right there in the middle, guys. The flavor is definitely going to be there for sure. And all of them stretch from edge to edge on top of all of that cheese and the sauce underneath as well. It's definitely looking pretty plentiful in those departments for sure. But guys, the main draw with this one, aside from that, is it's supposed to have a crispy caramelized crust. And while I'm not seeing too much of that, there's just little hints of it. I got to say the pepperoni is still looking pretty killer on this. So let's not waste any more time on this one. This is the new Old World Fanceroni Pepperoni from Little Caesars. Let's peep out this flavor. Yeah, def- Notification. Hold on, everyone. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that, everybody. Definitely a lot of pepperoni on this one, guys. They are not playing around. This looks really fantastic. And for $9.99, not too bad on this whatsoever. All right, let me put this one down, and we will pull up a slice here real quick. And wow, right off the bat, I expected this. This is going to be very, very greasy, guys. The whole bottom of this is completely wet with pepperoni grease. But as you can see, very gluttonous. Just take a look at those curled up pepperonis right there. There is no shortage of them, and I am totally digging the amount of cheese this one has here already. Looking really awesome. Let's not waste any more time for the second time here we go with the old world fanceroni pepperoni pizza from little caesar let's peep this out mm. crispy but a ton of grease and oil on this wow crazy flavor though and i guess you kind of expected that with the amount of pepperoni this one has guys very very tasty they are very nice mm. but wow the salt is off the chart with this one though crazy crazy but a very lovely situation of those crispy goodness pieces right over there. Just look at that. Right there in the middle, all the oily goodness that's housed in there, the little flavor pockets for sure, with lots of the classic Little Caesars flavor here. The sauce, the cheese, very familiar. But guys, again, the caramelization of the crust is a little non-existent on this, so it's going to have to be docked because of that, but still a very tasty pepperoni pizza. Very, very tasty. Let's keep going in. Mmm. No shortage of pepperoni. That's crazy. Yeah, this is a crazy salt bomb, guys. I mean, I'm getting a lot of nice spicing from the pepperonis themselves, and the oils are definitely on point with this one. I mean, they're really an excess and overload. But with the cheesy goodness that this one has got, with the semi-toasted crust, it's not bad as well. But again, hardly any caramelization in the very back here. And since we're talking about that real quick, let me go for a quick bite of that. Yeah. It needs a little bit of cheese in the back there to kind of stay with its advertising with the caramelized crust. But it's good. Yeah. This is so crazy oily, though. Let's keep going in for another few more. Mm. Well, as I'm getting further into this one, all I keep thinking about is this really does feel like a super upgraded extra most bestest pizza. I mean, I think that pizza has originally like 50 plus slices of regular pepperoni. With this one being 100 because maybe they're a little bit smaller, they want to pack more onto it. It's really an excess of what that is, I got to say, guys. So extra most bestest 2.0, 3.0, whatever you want to call it. But with the old world style of the goodies here and again be prepared i probably should have brought something to drink with me today i didn't think it was going to be this crazy salty but at the same time i really wish i had something to wash this one down with let's go for another couple on it guys it is pretty tasty though still but just be prepared it's very salty mm. 
that cheese blend is pretty banging. And although pepperoni is not my all-time favorite pizza topping, which I've said so many times throughout my Little Caesars reviews whenever I do pepperoni naturally, I can appreciate why people do dig it, and especially the old world style because of all the oils that pull up in the crispy edges of the pepperoni themselves. So I can appreciate that, but at the same time, I would love to see something like this with a ton of sausage maybe. That would be kind of cool. I mean, they do have the extra most bestest sausage, which I reviewed. You're probably seeing that review on your screen here right now. Maybe an upgraded version of that in some possible way. But for what this is, guys, I got to say the advertising looks really cool with it. It was a lot of fun to pick up through the pizza portal as well. I have a lot of fun doing that whenever I pick up my pizza at Little Caesars. And like I said, while I can appreciate while well, peeps really dig this, this is not really my cup of tea as something I would get again, but still very, very tasty. But again, very greasy at the same time. So let's go for one more bite. We'll knock this review out with the rating coming up next. But guys, another awesome pizza over here at Little Caesars. Just have plenty of napkins on hand and something to drink to go with it, guys. But still pretty tasty. One more bite and we'll close it out. Hang on. Yep, pepperoni heads are definitely going to dig this one for sure. And at $9.99, this is not a bad value overall, guys. You're getting a ton of pepperoni, well over 100 plus, all covered on the top of this pizza. And considering the inflation situation in our country right now, you're still getting a lot for the money here, guys. Very tasty, very flavorful, and it really is classic Little Caesars mixed with a little old world flair thanks to those pepperonis on top. Pretty tasty. Hold on, everyone. Snoopy wants some attention. Let me give him some attention. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that, everybody. Let's get back to the video. Pizza, pizza. Well, this one sure has a pretty fun name, guys. I mean, Fanceroni Pepperoni is pretty eye-catching when you see it at first glance. So it really is unique to Little Caesars, and they definitely have fun with that. Kind of like the Batman Calzone or just the Calzone in general. Pretty fun name indeed. And like I said, while the pepperoni is not necessarily my all-time favorite topping over here at Little Caesars or on pizza in general, I can appreciate why you guys definitely would probably dig this one, especially if you've made it this far into the review, guys. It still is a pretty tasty pizza. All right, so with that said, I'm going to have to give this new Old World Fanceroni Pepperoni, a.k.a. the upgraded Extra Most Bestest 2.0, 3.0, whatever you want to call it, a pretty decent 7.5 out of 10. And I'm not going to go much higher than that, guys, because essentially what I've got here is the regular pepperoni pizza, minus the caramelized edges that I really wish I could have tried. That was one of the main things about this one. But at the same time, what is there actually tastes very, very good. Aside from being oily, being a little bit more on the greasier side, scratch that, a lot on the greasier side. Those Old World Pepperonis are super plentiful. It looks amazing. And it was a lot of fun to film for sure but guys again i wish i could have had just a little bit more of a rounded out picture with this one as advertised but still very very tasty and definitely worth checking out at least once or a few times if a lot of you pepperoni heads dig it which i venture to guess you're probably going to so do me a quick favor let's segue into it drop some comments down below let me know if you're going to be giving this old world fanceroni pepperoni pizza a shot over here at little caesars and if you do give it a go what did you think about it overall drop those comments down below and definitely let me know and with that, this is Ian K closing out another high-quality foodie feature for you here on Peep This Out Reviews, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So always stay tuned for that next review coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty. Yes, sir. Pretty killer presentation on this one for sure, guys. Not only are you getting the good looks, but you're getting some pretty awesome flavor thanks to those old-world pepperonis. And they're plentiful. Pretty awesome. All right, guys. Until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Hey, thanks for checking out another one of my reviews. But just in case you didn't see the one before this one, you can find it right up over here, along with what I think YouTube's going to recommend for you to check out as well. As always, I think you'll find something like in both of them, and I'll definitely catch you in the next one. See ya. Awesome video. I give it a thumbs up, and I hope you all enjoyed this reaction video. If you're all new to my main channel or my second channel, or Peep This Out's channel, make sure you guys subscribe. Give both our videos a thumbs up, hit the notification bell to let you guys know when we both post, and share both of our videos with your friends and family members too, please everybody. And on my main channel, we are on the road to 6,000 subscribers, and on my second channel, we are on the road to 1,000 subscribers. And please don't forget to take a look at my other videos on my channel's playlists on both my main channel and my second channel. Give them a thumbs up and share them with your friends and family members too, please everybody. I would really appreciate it. And I know a notification has popped up. But this video is almost over anyway, so I'm going to take care of it afterwards. And the reason I'm, I'm sitting like this is because I have Snoopy right here with me. He loves, he really loves Michael. He wanted to be up here by me. I just thought I'd let everyone know that Snoopy's right here with me. So, I'm going to give him some more attention. 
and I'm off now, so until next time, see ya.